Let's compare some more birdsong dialects. Their pitch and tempo are different, but birds that live in the same state can still sound different. Birds that live near each other, but sound different, live in separate song neighborhoods. It's kind of like a micro dialect that can sometimes be as small as one mile or one single park. Here's some tufted tit mice I found on the same trail. Tufted tit mice also make an alarm call. Here's two tufted tit mice alarm calls that were filmed on the same trail. Eastern Toei sing the iconic drink your tea song. And sometimes they add additional notes to the end of the melody. Or skip the first part of the melody entirely. They'll often change up the timing of the trill near the end of the song. Spotted Toeys are another great example of song neighborhoods. Here's three different spotted toeys I filmed in the same national park in North Dakota. Spotted toeys have a standard call too, and I found it interesting how different they sounded between the Washington spotted toey and the Arizona spotted toey. Sometimes the difference in dialect is subtle. I filmed these four yellow warblers in different states, and their songs sound pretty similar. But with the prairie warbler, the difference is a little more noticeable. Chipping sparrows have a more basic song, but you can still tell a difference in their speed and intensity between the different dialects and song neighborhoods. There can be hundreds, if not thousands, of variations of the same bird song within the country. Comparing the difference in bird dialects and song neighborhoods is one of my favorite parts about being a bird photographer. So with that being said, I'm gonna look for those birdos and catch you guys in the next one.